Hello, my name is Dan Jurenin, Media Services Director here at Southeastern. This is the second video on the TechAV IT wireless presentation device. The intent of this video is actually to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect. So let's get started. From within the classroom or seminar room, if you are connecting for the first time, you will have two initial steps to get started. First, make sure that the TechAV info screen is being projected or displayed. The screen will look similar to this. Second, make sure that your laptop is connected to the wireless network labeled Southeastern. Once you have completed these two steps, you will access the TechAV device to download the needed software to your laptop. Let's take a look at how this is done. First, launch a web browser on your laptop. Second, look at the IP address located on the TechAV info screen displayed in the room. The IP address will look like this. Next, enter the IP address found on the TechAV info screen into the address bar of your web browser. Once you have gained access to the device from your web browser, click the link found on the right side and enter the download password to download the necessary software. Last, ensure that you have installed the TechAV software. Once you have completed these steps, you are now ready to access the TechAV device through the software. To do this, simply locate and launch the software. Once the software opens, you will see a window that looks similar to the window you see here. From here, the best practice is to click the scan button in the window. The software will scan for all TechAV devices on the network. Once the scan is finished, simply select the device that corresponds to the room number which you are in. After you have selected the appropriate device, simply enter the four digit code which can be found on the TechAV info screen. Lastly, click connect to start displaying your laptop wirelessly. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it was beneficial. I'm really excited about this product and hope it enhances the classroom experience. As always, if you should have questions or need further assistance or training, you can always contact the Media Services Office at extension 2240 or by directing an email to mediaservices at sebts.edu.